Some borders are straight, some borders are curved, some borders are shaped by the ocean or by rivers. But no country in the world combines all of these factors quite like the Gambia on the West African coast. To understand the Gambia's unique shape, all we have to do is take a quick look at its wild history and the shenanigans of the European colonial powers. After the region of today's Gambia has been ruled by various Western African empires such as the Mali or Songhai Empire around the 16th century, it eventually shared the fate of almost all African regions and was slowly but surely swallowed up by European colonial powers as a result of their hunger for ever more land to exploit. The 350 years of European interference in today's The Gambia kicked off with the 15th century explorer Prince Henry the Navigator of Portugal, who got wind of apparent gold to be found at the delta of the Gambia River. The first Portuguese settlers landed around the Atlantic coast and intermarried with their native tribes which severely increased their emotional connection to the new home. These settlers successfully fended off the French and English explorers for decades to come, but every failed exploration only increased the interest of rivaling empires. Naturally, the small Portuguese delegation couldn't hold on to their territory forever, and the coming 150 years saw the French, English, Swedish, the Dutch and even the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth come and go, with each of them wielding power for some years or even decades. The decisive turn in the Gambia's history came in the form of the British monarchy, which took over the region of the Gambia River Delta in 1664 and wouldn't fully let go of their possession for over two full centuries. The British were content with their presence at the Delta, which yielded an important strategic position for many of the other operations in the West African region. The French, which were also keen on exploiting the rich African West Coast, expanded their colony in today's Senegal, which over time completely surrounded the English fortifications along the lower Gambia River. The peculiar situation of having one country's colony being completely surrounded by another country's claim of course led to some tensions and negotiations between the French and the British, but after two decades of discussions, the English Parliament took a strong stance on not giving up the Gambia River Delta, since its strategic position appeared too valuable. On August 10th in 1889, the British and French finally came to an agreement to set the new borders into stone, and here's what they came up with. A 95 km by 40 km large and almost perfect rectangle was drawn around the Delta region, and on first glance many parallels to countries such as Egypt or Algeria can be drawn, where the borders were decided upon in a purely diplomatic setting by European empires. Strangely enough though, the country then continues to almost perfectly follow the Gambia River for just over 375 km, encompassing a narrow strip of land with a width of a mere 10 km on each side of the river banks. These rules give the Gambia such a strange and unique shape that it stands out on every world map to this day. The contrast of the perfectly straight rectangle with the organically shaped sections to the east and the west while all this is surrounded by just a single other country, makes this small nation unexampled among the international community. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Cheers!